How are we doing, everybody? You might have noticed I've been absent for a little while. About a week or two, give or take. Uh, but I have two, you know, rather large developments to share with you. Number one being, I just released a new album. It uh, came out about a week ago. It's called Futile Folk Songs. It's available on Spotify and all streaming services now. And I released it in conjunction with the second uh, new development that I need to share with you, is that I moved to Austin, Texas. So uh, you might have noticed that my background looks a little bit differently. Um, still fine-tuning everything. Set up my desk and... Uh, you know, the backdrop. Uh, Alexa, turn the light blue. Okay. There we go. That's much better. Anyway, so number one, Futile Folk Songs, which is available now. And I will put it on the screen right about, probably right about there. And I'll put the, uh, the link to stream down below in the description. So it's about 10 songs, and it's kind of a, just a little bit of a stripped-down acoustic um, album that I did. This kind of act as kind of a... A bridge between uh, what I'd done last and and uh, just kind of maybe not filler, but just a little bit of an appetizer for uh, what I hope to release uh, in the near future. Uh, now starting down here in uh, Austin, Texas. So yeah, it's just uh, ten little stripped down kind of folky Americana songs, and uh, hope you check them out and uh, let me know what you think. So I appreciate that. Anyway, yeah, here in Austin, Texas, it's been about. A week or so and we're just uh, pretty much just getting unpacked I uh, went out to a to a jam blues jam last night at friends so it was a lot of fun it was it was a great time and it was uh, really the first time I've been able to kind of go out and do anything since uh, we actually made the move here so um, you know in the near future I'll probably shoot a little bit more video out and about because uh, yeah it's been uh, it's been a wild transition coming from New York uh, and, and seeing the vibe here in Austin, Texas. When I first arrived, um, all right, this is a little bit of a city review. I first ar arrived, uh, I, I, you see a lot of scooters going around. And, uh, you know, my, my first kind of reaction was like, ugh, I cringed a little bit. I thought they were kind of uh, kind of dumb looking. And, uh, and I told myself, I'm, I'm never going to ride a scooter around. I'm never going to ride around the city on an electric scooter. That's just be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be embarrassing if somebody saw you riding around an electric scooter? Well, anyway, um, when I was heading out to uh, the jam the other day, while I was weighing my different uh, public transit options, uh, I considered riding my bike, but it was late at night, and uh, I promised my uh, significant other that I might do a little bit of a safer transit. So I was probably going to take the train or an Uber, and uh, I, I noticed that uh, when I downloaded the Uber app, that they actually have the, the scooter rental available on the app. So um, that kind of piqued my interest. And I was like, eh, what the hell? I hopped on a scooter, scanned the little QR code, and then uh, all, next thing you know, I'm zipping around the city. I'm, I had a ridiculously uh, fun time on that dumb scooter. And uh, I'm embarrassed to say now that uh, I am sold on scooter transport. I'm an electric scooter guy. You know, I'm not going to make it in everything about it because uh, I, I, I'd rather, you know, my bike's free. So uh, I'll probably try to ride my bike as much as I can. But, um, yeah, I, I love the, the just the, the general layout of the bike kind of highway that runs through Austin. And it's like it just makes it incredibly uh, easy and, and um, I guess, yeah, it, gets, it makes it incredibly easy to, to get anywhere, which is fantastic. It's like, uh, you know, I'm out probably about 20 minutes out in East Austin. It's a little bit more uh, quiet over on my end, but uh, it's like it's like I could get into the uh, the equivalent of uh, the center of Manhattan in about 20 minutes, which is which is amazing. So so far and also, yeah, I you know, I, I thought and uh, worried that maybe the bike trails would be filled with homeless people. And I have to say the homeless people. I've noticed have been far and, uh, you know, few in between. So that's, uh, I give a gold star to Austin on that. I know that was uh, one of the bigger problems people talk about when, uh, when discussing uh, the city of Austin. But so far, the homeless uh, issue, pretty much a non-issue. I mean, I'm not going to say non-issue. You know, that's a, it's a very complicated topic. But... 
What, what the hell am I talking about? I can edit this, right? Yeah, so no homeless people. Anyway, um, yeah, that, that's that's all I got to say so far. Like I said, I'm going to try to shoot some video of, uh, you know, going out and about. Not a vlog, because that sounds dumb. But uh, I'm just going to put a GoPro on my electric scooter and zoom around town and try not to be killed by a bus. So uh, that's my plan. Thank you, everybody. Um, if you want to see what's going on more, follow me on my Instagram. And again, I think I'll put my Instagram here as well. And that'll be kind of the, uh, the main source for just general day-to-day -day updates as I, uh, you know, try to make my way out here and uh, readjust. Because, um, you know, there's a little bit of a, of an anxiety, you know, starting over in a whole, whole new place. And, you know, it's probably not starting over from scratch entirely, but, uh, you know, certainly can feel that way. So I'm uh, plugging away, trying to book some gigs out here. I already uh, played one. I have two more this week. I was at Jester King Brewery last week. This, way, uh, this week I'll be at uh, Twin Creeks Ice House on Wednesday, 8.30. Um, and then uh, I'll be at Opa, which is a coffee shop on South Lamar. And uh, I think 6 o'clock. So if by the off chance you're actually watching this from Austin, Texas, uh, check my website. And uh, I should, the, the, both those gigs should be up on my schedule at this point. So if you want to come see me in the area, come, uh, please come see me in the area. Please, I need your support for God's sakes. Anyway, um, thank you. I think that's all for this transmission. So I appreciate everything uh, you guys have uh, done watching my videos and liking and subscribing. And please continue to like and subscribe. And uh, I hope there's going to be kind of a whole new era of more interesting and, uh, you know, more evolved content on uh, all my social medias and stuff. And as well as, like I said, I want to get back into the studio. I felt uh, good about uh, dropping my last album. I wish I didn't use that terminology, dropping my album, because, I mean, it's like, it's stupid, especially when you have the, you know, you know, a very modest following like me. You know, you might as well be saying, I'm dropping my album in the trash. And hopefully someone comes, you know, a homeless person rummages through it and picks it out and listens to it but I don't know what they'd listen to it on because they don't have vehicles. And vehicles don't have CD players anymore anyway. And plus, I don't have CDs. It's only on streaming. I don't know where I'm going with this, but thank you anyway. And uh, God bless. See you next time. Stay tuned. Well, I rode the bluest high from the head of Tennessee Down every sunrise, all I cherish next to me it's My soul sang the fire, as the morning do Now that's all you get, it's a little... Thank you.